What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the Gold Road chapter to kind of give you a little bit of idea of what's going to be going on within this kind of the setup. Exactly what this chapter is going to be all about. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now this new chapter will arrive on June the 3rd for PC and Mac and June the 18th for Xbox and PlayStation. This is going to be a quest where you kind of explore west within the game to southeast Cyrodiil. Now this will allow you to explore this part of Tamriel for the first time since the Oblivion game was released in 2006. So recently strange things have thrown the region into tur uh, turmoil, changing the landscape in bizarre ways and introducing new threats you'll have to contend with. It says towards the southeast you'll find Dawnwood, formerly under Imperial control, this area is now home to the encroaching jungles of nearby Valenwood. In the north of the west uh, lies the Highlands, a mountainous region that is home to the Imperial settlement, a settlement and numerous ruins. So this is going to kind of give you, of course, like all chapters, new things to do, a new zone, new challenges, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, the things we normally see with the chapter, of course, including uh, some new features into the game that I talked about in a uh, recent video you know we're talking about having pretty much spell crafting being brought to the game now even though it's a of course the Elder Scrolls Online Bethesda's own kind of take on that but while the land itself is changing it also is under attack from a host of new unfamiliar foes bringing all new dangerous uh, dangers to your adventures. This challenges includes uh, New Delve, public dungeons to explore, world bosses to face, and of course these standalone quests that tell stories of this unique zone. In addition, new world events called uh, Mirror More Incursions set you and your fellow adventures against waves of invading Daedra. Gold Road also introduces a new 12 player trial. So you're going to have, like I said, the normal things that we usually see with these and you know, kind of DLC zone chapters that we get every year with the Elder Scrolls Online. I know a lot of people love to play the story, so this is like this is going to be a very interesting story kind of leading into this. I know a lot of people out there may just be trial players, in-game players, so you're going to get new dungeons, of course, this year, a new trial with this uh, particular, of course, chapter. And, of course, like I said, that brand new uh, kind of way to spellcraft in the Elder Scrolls Online, which of course is going to be called Scribing. That's something I did talk about, like I said in a previous video, so if you want to check that out, definitely give that a look. But overall, this looks like it could be a very good year for ESO, and I think a lot of people are, you know, used to the chapters and then the new zones and the kind of, you know, new things we get every year, year in and year out. But with these uh, Scribing kind of being added in, that's something that a lot of people have been asking for to, for the game to have some type of spell crafting and now we're going to have that so it's going to be able to really hopefully make it so you can kind of make any build you want make any spells that you want make any abilities that you want to make sure that every in my opinion it'll make sure that every player that's playing is kind of unique to yourself you're not really like everyone else when it comes to what abilities and skills that you're using so overall i think this year could be a really good year for eso like i said just depending on how fleshed out that new scribing you know option is we know that not everything's going to be coming with that right off the bat but i'm hoping also during this year and of course you know they didn't really talk about this a lot during the global reveal i'm hoping we can get to see some new things added into the events that we have each year if you played ESO for a really long time like I have, the events sometimes change throughout the year, but at the same time, we get a lot of the same, you know, things each year with these events. I was hoping the more they get into, you know, adding to the game, some of the events, you know, may change up. We'll get some new things added into that as well. I'm hoping for that. But overall, this does look like an interesting chapter. It's going to have a lot of things available no matter how you really like to play. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.